right now we're headed to Padong. It's the heart of the financial district. It's where the money is. When your city has a population of 20 million, trying to get around can be pretty difficult. Uh, right now we're on the highway. It uh, feels like rush hour, even though it's, only, it's, 11, it's past rush hour, it's 11 o'clock. Uh, the highway is actually elevated above the ground. At the ground level, it's more roads for regular cars. And below that, it's a subway system. The only thing that's ever on time, it's a subway. We're now traveling at street level. You can see the highways above us. If you look ahead, you'll see our destination. Welcome to Padong. Ten years ago, all this was nothing but rice paddy. Today, it is the most expensive piece of real estate in all of China. Padong is home to the Jingmao Tower. Until recently, the Jingmao was the tallest building in all of China. However, this building just right next door, that's under construction right now, is going to be even taller. The sign says no climbing. I mean, you got to be pretty nuts to try to climb this thing. Well, all you would-be Spider-Man, if you try to climb it, chances are, you'll probably be shot. After all, this is China. Raising money for the earthquake victims. Very noble. I will be making a donation. the world's tallest hotel. This is a Grand Hyatt in Shanghai and the lobby starts on floor 54. Uh, let me show you the view from the lobby here. Uh, this is one very nice hotel. Shanghai, look at that. Goes way up there. We're on floor 65. That's a restaurant down below. All right, let's go to our room. Dear Mr. Chow, a warm welcome to the Grand Hyatt Shanghai. It's our pleasure to have you with us. If there's anything I can do to assist you in order to ensure your most pleasant and comfortable stay, please do not hesitate to let me know. With best regard, Peter Chu, Channel Manager. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Very personalized. Not a bad view. I wish I knew what that said. I love that all glass sink. It's real. <laughs> Anyone who thinks that China is some kind of third world nation 
They just need to come to the Shanghai Grand Hyatt to get a complete change of mind. This is one of the most amazing hotels I've ever seen. It's uh, the tallest in the world, starting at floor 54 and going up to floor 87. Um, my suite here is on the 65th floor and the view is actually quite remarkable. Um, I can't, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for the sun to set so I can see all the lights come on. It's, uh, I'm sure it'll be very, very nice. I'll take a video a little later. I'm sure you're also wondering how much does a place like this cost? Well, uh, it's it's not cheap. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the the amazing thing is that uh, you know the the average factory worker in China makes about 125 dollars U.S. per month. Uh, this particular suite is called a uh, it's called a Grand Suite at the Shanghai Grand Hyatt. Uh, it costs, well, with with taxes, 800 bucks a night. Yeah, so. Kind of puts things into perspective. Huh?